Well, time to head plant side and start uh, talking to the leader of uh, <laughs> this uh, busy Alpha Command, I suppose. Ah, I'm glad you could join us, Captain. Chance already reported to me about your efforts. I'm almost at a loss for words. Seems pretty amazing what you're able to accomplish. Our nation prizes personal ability, Captain, and yours is rated highly, even among our elite officers. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. I did have to deal with quite a few elite ships while I was there. Damn shield ships getting in the way. That's why so many officers are gathered here today. Something very important to discuss. It concerns your people, too. It does? Absolutely, but I'm afraid we must wait a little bit longer. Lord Roth is yet to... Forgive me, sir. We're running late. Oh, hello, my sweet. You can all relax now. Lord Roth is in the building. Mind your manners. We're not one of your sick parties. Ouch. Ear grab. Definitely an ear grab. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I suppose introductions are in order. Captain, this is Lord Roth, and this is... Agent Becker. You must be Yuri, the famous, or shall I say, infamous captain. Infamous? Oh, I guess it works for us. Cheers out to the nice captain. Nice? You sound infamous! He usually doesn't come with a nice reputation, man. So you're Captain Yuri, are you? Well, forgive me, but at the moment, I'm only interested in the females of our species. <laughs> Why well, tell you about your outside voice? Stop being so impertinent. Ah, man. Hopefully she's not grabbing lower, man. I don't think it'd survive. Uh, ahem. My apologies, Captain. Uh, you may not act the part, but Lord Roth is commander of the Royal Fleet, and as such serves directly under our king. He's an exceptional admiral. And a huge super pervert. Personally, vouch for his ability, though perhaps not for his character. He is a famous zero G dog, believe it or not. So, uh, yeah, he's really good at killing people in space. But I suppose we should uh, get to our mission. And watch the video. Ah, I can understand why they're worried. It's a wrecked ship from the small one shot cloud. This raises interesting questions. How did it get there? <laughs> exactly. Somehow it got here from the small jet cloud. Appears so. This ship was discovered in the frontier sector of the Federation. Based on the direction of its drift, they're saying it came from an unexplored region of space. Yes, yeah, so a previously unknown gate. Well, I guess we should figure that out. Well, no. Huh? What's this? Three months for that steel class shield ship. The president sent these to you, Captain. Came he built by conventional means. It requires a special refining method for Vulcan ore. Thanks. These blueprints are going to really come in handy. Okay. Well, I guess I need to talk to him again. Farishna has been busily working behind closed doors. Apparently, they have yet to officially announce a clear policy in response. His stance, the potential for whatever threat in the Solid Cloud to finally reach the LMC is greater than ever. Get to the point already. Silly put, we thought we sealed off the only route from the Solid Cloud, but the Empire is coming anyway, isn't that right? Lord Roth. What? Where'd you hear that name? Oh, please. Any officer of my standing is pretty such information. I simply kept my mouth shut because of the Federation's gag order. Plus, the commoners would have panicked when they saw that the Federation had no clear countermeasures in place. Yes, yeah, so that's why I called you all here today. The Federation government is still refusing to officially disclose all the information they have on the Empire. Therefore, we have no choice but to conduct our own fact-finding mission. So that also include going to the small jet cloud, if in fact that's even possible. If possible, yes. You must have certain how far along the Empire is in conquering the small jet cloud. 
<laughs> Is there any question it's not total at this point? How many people do you really think could possibly be left resisting at this point? Oh, slow down there, Hotshot. Are you sure you're ready to take on such a dangerous mission? Well, what? There's some people who need my help back there. You don't say. Alright then, Captain. You and your crew will be dispatched to check on the gate. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I am. The only way I can get more prepared is if I spend time grinding cash to buy, you know, some more ships. Official observers, eh? Sadly, they're only temporary crew members. So, you know, it's kind of pointless to really mess with them. Yes, once more we are set off away. Okay. <sighs> well, at least I could really get me a ship was discovered. Unfortunately, I must attend on fleet review, so this is where I bid you farewell. Well, honestly, I think this is just away from the Rev Becker for a bit. What fleet review? The Ferrishian fleet, which primarily consists of ships from Lurtos, is holding a fleet review. Lorath has been invited to attend the ceremony as a special guest. Sounds cool. Can we go too? Afraid that wouldn't be a good idea. You see, there are still many within the Fresh who do not view Yuri and the rest of you by proxy very kindly. So, they passing through the liver trash sector required Lord Ross Fleet to join us as a diversion of sorts. Oh, bummer. Yeah, I still have, like, one of the biggest ships there, though. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah. Look after my people. She's a delicate flower, that Nell is. I'd love for her to be wilted if you get my drift. Promise you'll keep her safe. Uh, sure thing. I'll keep them safe, no problem. And don't embarrass me out there. <laughs> you just know she's gonna yank his ear again, man. Well, what did Lord Roth say to you just now? Just, uh, a tactical stuff. Anyway, let's focus on the matter at hand. Passing the void gate soon. We better get ourselves ready. Yes. Oh, she knows. They always know. That is the power of the Sundari. <laughs> Okay. Well, finally can I get control back? Oh, there's a shipyard here? Why? Oh yeah, I gotta try my new guns out. Oh, sweet. It instantly died! I guess my problem was I was too weak. Oh, did they now? Um... Let's see... Gauge speed. Elevator, I am curious what's down here. Nothing. But we can do two, uh, upgrades here, why? Okay. Okay. Let's just head far, far away, I suppose. Weird, what's wrong? Thought the maintenance on this ship was first rate. That's uh, back to the f nah, fluctuation sector. Wait a second, the flux? Exactly, we should be nearing one of them as we speak. Frank, put on the monitor. Hmm. Uh, I do not like those sectors. I do not like them at all. Yep, there it is. Why am I not surprised you already know about the flux, Captain? You should be safe from the worst of its effects from this distance, but I wouldn't recommend getting any closer. 
I wouldn't either. You can disappear in those. Completely. Why is there a planet out here? With a spaceport. Oh, I'm guessing it's in case, you know, you, uh... Have a less capable crew like you're on a first-time playthrough. Okay. Okay. I really don't want to get too close to that stuff. Let's head to the unstable gate. Hey, Yuri. Hmm. Check it out, it's a void gate. Yes, but not a good void gate. It's a bad void gate. Not that you can really tell from the way they just showed it. Oh, there's something funny about this one. Oh, this one's an ancient gate. A what gate? An ancient gate. Someone must have revived a dead gate. Uh, what is it, Alec? That strange color. Hmm. Oh, yeah! That looks very inviting, doesn't it? I, I definitely want to go through a red void gate. Oof. Looks like the gate to hell. Hmm. Only an eerie color and then going dark at irregular intervals. What, like, crust? This is just plain creepy. Whoa. Jizz. No, that's not it. Oh, no, I remember. They gave a shift that was all twisted and distorted. Hmm. I suppose I hurt myself there. Maybe that was caused by passing through this gate. Well, I could have gotten science plus one if I'd gotten the answer right. Sir, exactly. This might be a dead gate that was only partially restored. That's really the case, the hull that gave me ship might have been reshaped or distorted when it passed through. So you're saying our ship will end up like that if we go through this gate? Most likely. What are we supposed to do now? I mean, we already came all this way. There's only one option, which is... Use the epitaph. Yep, we're gonna be needing this alright. What's that? An epitaph. That's an epitaph? Nani? Yep. Just like the last time. I was gonna say, like, where's the, the skeleton bit? Okay. Well, at least that ship has a forward laser. Just like what time? What the gruss? So yes, it's all our fault they can even make it here. Because we fixed the gate. Is it gonna change like to more normal color? Come on. What was that? Look, its glow is back to normal. How's that even possible? It's the power of the epitaph. I don't believe it, Captain. I... Date's opened. Hold on to your hats, everyone. Here we go! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh, the frontier, huh? Okay... I don't like this area. But we have arrived back in the small jet cloud. Okay. Ah uh, yes. We can do some shopping around here. Buying some of the enemy's blueprints, why not? Is this really a small jet cloud? 
Right, I don't want to charge from nearby Cosmic Trade Authority site. Oh, the monitor for you. Hmm. So they hear him speak again, though this time a quite a confident manner. This is definitely a small job cloud. We're in the Spesty Sector right now. The Spesty Sector? This so once ruled by Lord Cadmus uh, as a semi autonomous dominion of Algavia. And now? Now it's nothing but another part of the Logavian Empire. I see. Major Active here is to assess the situation and remain alert at all times. I don't even think we could go to the Spesties at this point. But I think we'll call it quits here. Until next time, then. See ya.